Right, so I'm going to show you how to use the wireless direct of this printer so that's printers inbuilt Wi-Fi system so switch on the printer and go on to the display screen press the setting button now in the setup menu we are looking for the device setting option and we click on that so you can see two buttons we have to go forward and backward so you have to use them and here we click on the device setting and then we look for the LAN setting and LAN setting wireless direct now wireless direct switch wireless direct on so once it is on now we have to look for the Wi-Fi password so look for security protocol click yes it displays a password here which is a password of this printer now we can use this if you want you can write down or you can keep the screen on and now Take your Android device or iPhone and download the Canon print app from the App Store. Once you download that, then we open the Wi-Fi and look for the printer's Wi-Fi name, Direct TR4500 series printer. Now enter that password as it was shown on the screen. So you just have to key in and then click on the connect button and this password is a unique password so it's not a universal password so it will be different for every per every printer and here you can see it is authenticating and it will connect here now open the canon print app now we need to add the printer here so the print app will ask if you want to search for available printers you can click on yes or if you don't get that option you can just click on the printer icon as it says add printer and then it will search the printer in the same way so whole process might take some time so this is the printers inbuilt Wi-Fi system so as you can see here now final confirmation is here and your printer is almost added up now we can do the wireless printing and scanning so I'll show you the scanning first. You can use the toe feeder tray for the multiple scannings if you want to use it for a single file or separate files or you can use the scanner bed where you have to insert keep the page separately. Here you can put all the pages together and go in the scan option and in the scan option you get change setting option where you can change it to the PDF or if you want you can change it to black and white or color and you can also change the size of the page for example a4 size or letter size and once it is done click on the scan button and it will do the scan and it will transfer automatically as you can see the feeder tray is really good it takes the page inside itself it scans it and it transfers the scan so here we can see it has transferred the scan successfully so this is the test page one I scanned here now I'll show you how to do the wireless scanning so open the print document section in the app and you can see the list of the saved documents here you can click the document you want to print click next you can select the current page or all pages again you get option for the change setting where you can select two sided printing you can select grayscale color black and white and you can also adjust the size so once it is done you can go back and give the print command so here you can see the printer has received a command for the printing and it has started to print now so this is a unique wireless direct method where you don't need any wi-fi system of your home or office network it's just the printer's inbuilt Wi-Fi. So once you connect with it, then you can use it for the wireless printing and scanning. And this printer is quite efficient. It's, it's one of the best printer I have seen from the Canon, which can do the wireless printing and scanning easily. Setup is very easy. It doesn't take much longer for that. Hopefully, so this video will help you. Thanks for watching.